Here we have a stoichiometry problem asking us to find how many moles of hydrogen are necessary to produce 2.5 grams of ammonia. So in this case we're dealing with a moles to grams situation or actually a grams to moles situation because we are going to start with the 2.5 grams of ammonia and we're looking for how many moles. With all stoichiometry problems make sure you read the question carefully and confirm that your equation is balanced. So we have two nitrogen in the nitrogen molecule. Um, we have six hydrogen in the three hydrogen two molecules. And if we look at ammonia, the two molecules gives us two atoms of nitrogen and the six atoms of hydrogen. So this is a balanced chemical equation. I'm going to start by highlighting my, my givens and what I'm trying to look for. So I'm going to use green and circle my starting point, which is the thing I have. And I'm going to use red to box the stopping point, which is the thing I want. So when we read the equation, it says how many moles of hydrogen. So we are looking for that. That is what we want to find. So I'm going to box that in red. And we are going to start with 2.5 grams of ammonia. So I circle that in green. So the 2.5 grams of ammonia is our starting point. And our question is how many moles of the hydrogen are we going to end up producing? So the next step is to use stoichiometry manipulatives or a roadmap to lay out our equation. And we do this using our roadmap that we've used before. Here we have grams to moles to moles to grams. But in this case, we're only going to go grams to moles to moles. So we're only going to use the first two conversion factors. And this is going to end up giving us moles of what we want. So when we set that up, it's going to look something like this. We're going to start with the 2.5 grams of ammonia. We're going to convert that to moles of ammonia, and we use the gram formula mass of ammonia. Nitrogen is 14.01. We have three hydrogens at 1.01, which gives us 3.03, .03, and that gives us a molar mass of the ammonia of 17.04. Using the balanced chemical equation, we then find the conversion factor of moles of hydrogen to moles of ammonia. And in this case, it's a 3 to 2 ratio. 3 hydrogen moles are necessary to produce every 2 moles of ammonia. And then, once we have our equation set up with the proper conversion factors, we can then cancel out our units. So the grams of ammonia cancels with the grams of ammonia the moles of ammonia cancels with the moles of ammonia. This will end up leaving us with moles of hydrogen, which from our question is what we want. When we do the calculations, all the numerators get multiplied, all the denominators get divided. So it's 2.5 grams divided by 17.04 grams. We're going to multiply by 3 moles and then divide by 2 moles, and this should give us an answer of 0 0.22 moles of hydrogen which is what we wanted and our significant digits in this case are two significant digits so 0 0.22 moles of hydrogen is our final solution.